Hey, good morning, New York. Let me introduce myself. My name is Maria M. So today I am going to explain CAP theorem. What is the use of CAP theorem and how it helps us in choosing database solutions? So basically, I thought a lot about how to analyze different databases and how to choose a database that mean which database we should use in our real time projects and how CAP theorem helped in this. Let me give the basic background of CAP theorem. So basically, CAP theorem was proposed by Eric Allen Brewer in 2000. Brewer was a computer scientist, so CAP theorem, also known as Brewer's theorem. As per Brewer, the CAP theorem states that, in a distributed system, you can only have two out of the three guarantees across the right red pair consistency, availability, and partition tolerance, one of them must be sacrificed. It means that in order to get both availability and partition tolerance, you have to give up consistency. Distributed system means a collection of interconnected nodes that share data. As you see the CAP theorem diagram, these three plays very important role consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. So as per CAP theorem definition, you can choose only two among these three E's. It mean you can choose availability and consistency or you can choose availability and partition tolerance, or you can go for consistency and partition tolerance. Let me explain these properties one by one. First availability. So availability can achieved by replicating the data across different machines, which means data would be available on multiple nodes. Second consistency. So consistency is achieved by updating several nodes before allowing further reads. Once data is updated on various nodes then that would be available for read. And third one is partition tolerance. Partition tolerance, even if the connections among nodes are down, then other two, availability and consistency, promises, must be kept. An example of network partition is when two nodes can't talk to each other, but there are clients able to talk to either one or both of those nodes. Let me go back to CAP theorem slide. Okay. Have a look into this diagram. First one is CA, consistency and availability. All traditional database fits into this like Postgres, MISCLA etc. And second one is AP, availability and partition tolerance. If you required availability and partition tolerance, then Cassandra, Couched provides both functionality. It depends on you. You can choose Cassandra. Couched and various other database solutions that are available in market that provides both availability and partition tolerance. And third one is CP, consistency and partition tolerance. If you required consistency and partition tolerance, then MongoDB, Base Memcached, etc. provides both consistency and partition tolerance. It's up to you which database solutions you want to use based on many other factors. I am not saying. These are the only solutions. These are just examples. There are many other solutions available in market. Thanks a lot for hearing. You can comment on video and ask me if there are any doubts. Thanks once again.